in our previous video I showed you that when you tag the event keyword onto a delegate field, it simply prevents the outside classes from inv directly invoking the delegate reference and also from directly assigning to it. The two key things we don't want subscribers in our observer pattern uh, to do. We just want them to say, hey, I, I'm subscribed or I'm not. You can think of it uh, also in context of maybe a newspaper subscription, even though those things seem to be going a little out of date. But basically, when you subscribe to the newspaper and my subscription won't affect your subscription, it's I'm subscribed and if I want to unsubscribe, I call them up and say I'm not going to pay anymore, please take me off your list. But that shouldn't affect you. Nor should I be able to say publish and then boom, all these newspapers go out with articles about how cool uh, Jamie King and Newmont University is. All right. Anyway, I want to show you how the compiler actually makes this happen. On the surface, it looks real simple, but like the yield keyword, there's a lot of compiler sugar going on on the MSIL or intermediate level, and I'm going to dissect that for you here in this video. So you can see here, I've stripped this down to the basic of basic. I have this class cal that has a delegate reference of type action. And then I have main class here, which is empty. In fact, I could take this out and just compile to a DLL if I want. In fact, why not? I will. The only difference between a DLL and an EXE and .NET is the uh, fa fact that there's an entry point or a main in there. So we'll just take it out. Notice I, I have this cow. It's completely empty, all right, except for this delegate reference. Let's uh, compile this and then disassemble it. Don't blink. Here is the disassembled cow class in C Sharp. Notice there's really not much to it. It's just our, our action field there, and that's it. In fact, I'm going to go down to the IL level so we can see this thing raw. Notice we have a field here, and again, if you're not very comfortable with the um, the missile language set up here and what's metadata and what's not, go watch my uh, missile videos. But basically, this is just saying, hey, this class type cow has a field, and oops, well, I just expanded the methods, but has a field uh, moving, and then here's the constructor that pretty much does nothing. Okay, except call the base class constructor. All right, but let's focus on, let me collapse this again. It's just a field. It's, it's almost identical. Well, it is identical to what I have back here. It's a public field. All right, so let's close that. And I'm going to put the event keyword here and save this. And then let's recompile and re-reflect. Bring this up, main class. Let's get down in here in the cow. Um, I'm gonna put this at C sharp, and I do. I am set at C sharp 1.0, which is the rawest of raw I can get with reflector. Um, but if we look at cow here, there's still all just this. This. Uh, well, look. Actually, it did change a little bit. We have this private action moving and then we have this public event action moving but the event events are native to C sharp when it first came out so this actually doesn't help us to have us have it this low I want to go lower let's go to the IL and remember in the IL we have this field here but in this case this field is now private before it was public now it's private it can only be accessed directly inside of our cow class all right but notice um we have we have two two extras here. We have this dot event, which is metadata. Events are native to uh, .NET assemblies, okay. And so basically, when er this basically saying, hey, when people want to add to this event, this is good for other languages. You know, there's, um, I don't know how in VB you would add on, or maybe some other ones, but basically the compilers look at this and say, hey, when you want to add, you need to call you need to call this method here, add mooing, and when you want to remove you need to call remove moving. So this is why we can only plus equals or minus equals and we can't equals. Now this thing is private and we can only add or remove via plus equals or minus equals. Well, let's go look at add moving here if it allows us. I click on it and oh here's the IL but if you look at what's going on here there's a delegate combine and, um, and a bunch of IL code here. I wonder if it'll freak out if I put it back to C sharp. No, it's not gonna do anything for us but oh Oh, there we go. Add moving. So it makes this action to, uh, and it does some logic I don't really want to get into, but essentially it adds it on, okay? And then remove on does a this is quite the opposite. It's delegate remove and assigns it back. And if you want to look at combine and remove, go back to the delegate video. So anyway, so so that's the magic of of the event keyword is basically it makes the field private, 
and then it adds the add and remove and a little bit of metadata for the event and, and that's it so so we can no longer if we're outside here if I did have a if I did have a main class which let me I a keyboard oh it's all messed up now but if I if I was out here and I made a cow seeing it's new cow and I can't say C dot uh, moving directly. No, notice we got a little bit of a we got a lightning bolt here instead of a delegate, or I mean a reference uh, icon. But I can't say moving directly anymore because because it's now an event. The the there's some uh, the the compiler placed those guards I just showed you in the reflected code. Uh, in fact, look at the error list. The event cow dot moving can only appear on the left hand side of a plus equals or minus equals, except when used from within the type cow. So I guess that's a much shorter way of telling what I just told you over these videos but there you go that's that's events